I was originally in the army. Once I properly retired, I spent my time gardening. I had dogs. I became quite interested in the countryside. And my wife died about four years ago. And since then, I've been quite a lot, quite busy. I realise how much she did. I was pretty active, yeah. My health was beginning to get a little bit bad. Last year, I started to notice that my hands were getting difficult to use. I was finding it difficult to feed myself. I couldn't write properly. In fact, my writing at the time was illegible. I couldn't do up buttons. And as a result of that, I was sent for an x-ray. The x-ray showed nothing wrong. Um, I was told that possibly it was the carpal tunnel syndrome in my wrist. And uh, my GP was told that as well. Also, I was falling over a lot. So with all those symptoms, I was convinced it wasn't the carpal tunnel syndrome and I was sure that an MRI scan would help. I was told that um, it would be some time before I could get one. Six to eight weeks, I think, was the figure quoted. Uh, when I found it difficult to get an MRI scan on the NHS, I asked Benenden for assistance. The service that John um, accessed through Benenden, through his membership, um, was to be able to get his MRI scan a lot quicker than he would have been able to in the NHS. Um, and that is uh, the value of that service, is, is what a lot of members join Benenden for in the first place, is the removal of the worry, because um, there can be a lot of worry. If you don't know what's wrong, you can't put it right. They agreed to fund the uh, scan and the consultants a visit afterwards. And I, I also recommended a Mr. Orpen. It became quite apparent and relatively quickly obvious that he had not only a lower back problem but a very serious condition uh, rising from his neck which was due to um, compression of the structures inside the spinal column and the spinal cord and that is a condition which unfortunately is much more serious than a lower back problem and required a bit more urgency in treating him. This is uh, the gentleman's uh, MRI scan and it shows quite clearly where the spinal cord over here, which is this long structure, is being pinched from two sides in the middle. And as you move your neck forwards and backwards, there's a further narrowing that occurs in the spinal cord, which is where the real difficulty comes with further injury. He told me to stop driving. He said that if I had a shunt with a backlash, I would probably be a quadriplegic. He said that if I had a bad fall, I would probably be a quadriplegic. He was quite anxious about suddenly coming in with a diagnosis that was much more serious than perhaps he might have anticipated. So for him, it was all about moving fairly quickly towards an operation and also being a lot more careful about this risk of injury. I needed the operation, if possible, within a week. We looked at other hospitals. Bristol Hospital had a waiting period of about a year. Uh, Oxford had closed its books on this type of operation. I didn't look at any others. I decided if I needed the operation within a week, get on with it. And so I went private. Now the problem with going private was that the cost would take over half of my then savings. And uh, that was a certain amount of hardship. I went back to Benenden, who couldn't uh, supply this particular type of operation, but they did tell me that they had a charitable trust and that I could apply to them. And so I applied to the charitable trust for some assistance, which they gave, fortunately. The trust can help members in a number of ways. Um, we help with surgery that isn't available quickly through the NHS or available through a Benenden membership. Um, we help with specialist equipment. Um, a lot of people get in touch asking for a mobility scooter or a stair lift or you know, things that are directly related to their illness that they're suffering. Um, most of the grants that we make though are just to help people in the short term when because of their illness they're not able to make ends meet. 
The improvement since uh, I was really ill is tremendous. Remember that then I was in a wheelchair, I had carers, I uh, couldn't go upstairs, I could hardly, well I had to have a, a, an assistance to walk, uh, I was falling over, but now I'm able to walk around, I can go shopping, I can do everything. So the improvement is absolutely out of this world. The support I've had from Benenden have been absolutely first class. If it hadn't been for Benenden, I wouldn't have started on this journey. And the secondary support that I got, which was helping to fund the, uh, the, the, the operation, has made life really worth living. So I am extremely grateful to Benenden and the Benenden Charitable Trust for the help they've given me.